<laughs> we love it. So now we have so fit Fia, Sofia Rodriguez. Welcome Hello. to Great Day. Good to see you, darling. Good to see you. Tell you how tell us how we're gonna stay fit because it's barbecue season. Right. Myron is double extra sexy, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we need some of that Absolutely. in our lives. So I mean fitness, a lot of people focus on how you look, but it's also about how you feel. Absolutely. And exercise is not only gonna make you look good, but it's gonna prevent a lot of diseases and disorders. I would say a lot of people though, they focus on creating that Porsche body, and they got a Volkswagen heart. <laughs> oh, okay. Because they're not putting in the effort. That's a so good analogy. So you got to put in the effort. You got to do aerobics. Go ahead. I'll exactly. So part. I'm going to break it down into five different components of wellness, okay? So the first one we're going to do is cardiovascular fitness. So if you have a step at home or stairs, whatever it may be, we're going to do a step test first. So I'm going to have you come over here. All you're going to do is step up and down. Sure thing. And hypothetically, we do it for three minutes, but we won't sure. do that. And the idea is your heart rate goes up. Right? Okay. So after three minutes, you would stop and then sit down and then take your heart rate. Sophia, for all of our seniors watching at home, what's the modification if they can't step that high? Modification would just be high knees. Okay. All right? So you can stop. And you know what, Madame? <laughs> but also while you're doing that, I just was showing you something about putting yeah. your hands up. You put your hands above your heart, mm. keep them above your heart as you exercise. Right. You add about 10% more work into your exercise. Yeah, that's so very just keep true. Your hands up. Just Very keep true. them up. Anytime you move your hands. All right. Exactly. Okay. So next one is going to be muscular strength. Yes, ma'am. So we're going to do push-ups. There's different modifications. So I'll show you each again. one. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one is going to be on your hands and your toes. Yeah. And you're coming down 90 degrees and then pushing back up. Now, all my folks that can't do it on their toes, you can do it on your knees. Oh, Same okay. thing. Yep. This and is again work your way for up. maybe somebody had an injury or yes. seniors. You can exactly. do the, the knees down. Or, or you can do it a little harder by putting the leg up. Yeah, you could do that oh, if you're you, a pro Montel. like Montel. Maybe well with Montel. <laughs> exactly, here. exactly. All right. Perfect. Okay, My on to the next are one. Burning. What's next? <laughs> next one. Functional movement. Functional movement. Functional. So, a lot of people complain to me, my clients, I can't pick up my grandkids. I can't gotcha. carry my groceries. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do a movement that involves full body. Okay. So, pretend this is, you know, groceries. So, you're picking them up, putting them overhead. And people need to notice, you spread your legs. She's picking up from between her legs, exactly. not legs closed, trying to pick up with her yes. back. You're Perfect. using your thighs. Yes, so use that's your core and your legs. Yep. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you do two of those and your thighs burn. Yes, so yeah. You can tell me that and before the show. And your heart rate goes up because <laughs> you're moving more Absolutely. than one muscle group. Okay. On to the next is going to be balance and coordination. So we're going to come down on all fours. This is called a bird dog. So what you're going to do is you're going to do opposite arm and opposite leg. So you notice Good. that you really have to use your core to balance. I have to think to this through. Yeah, <laughs> that is Exactly. Tricky. And you're using your brain, yeah. too. Now, if you want to make this harder, you can use like an exercise ball oh. or something like that. Okay. I'm you know. good with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys okay. are doing great. Okay. And last but not least, flexibility. A lot okay. of people Ooh. forget about stretching. Ooh. And if you're not flexible, you're not going to be mobile, you know? So we're going to do a sit and reach test. Okay. Sit and reach to test the <laughs> hamstring and the calf and the lower back flexibility. So see how far you can reach forward. Well, okay. um, now, uh, <laughs> we're showing, see how far they can reach forward? <laughs> exactly. If you can't uh, touch your toes, you got to work uh, on your flexibility. I do. Oh, so, okay. So that's what that is. Exactly. Yep. Perfect. Okay, this is good. Now, you have some nutrition tips to leave us with before we get back to the barbecue. Absolutely. Right? So. It's not just about working out, it's about what you eat. Darn. Sure. Um, so eating a well-balanced diet, you know, low in saturated fats, low in sugars, low in sodium, a lot of veggies, fruits, you know, yeah, I was all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I are low in. Well, look, here's uh, the thing about it. Here's the thing about it. We, we gotta take a break, but here's the thing about it. I think you can eat whatever you want, it's just in moderation. Yeah. It's uh -huh. the fact that yeah. you eat ribs, barbecue with sauce, every day, six days a week, uh, you got a problem. Yes. If you can just moderate, and I, again, I say eat what you want, get the best of what it is, do it every five to six days, you're good to go. There you That's go. Portions. Portions. Live Portions. Live yeah. well. Portions. With my and tail. exercise. Exactly. And so fit Fia, people ask me all the time, how do yeah. you stay so thin we'll and you back. eat on the show? It's moderation, it's what Montel said. We'll be right back. Coming up.